I think you have the roster moving in a pretty good direction. Um, stocked up on picks next year. I I would still love to see the Bills bring in a, a mid-round quarterback with some tools that can kind of develop and, you know, maybe you get a situation where you invest a second, third round pick on a probably third and beyond, let's be honest, um, into a quarterback that develops into something and flashes in preseason. And, and now you got some trade bait um, for another team. Um, but I look at it as more of if, if we're only getting that Mitch Trubisky level of backup quarterback play anyways, and we don't expect that to, you know, be a real needle mover if he actually has to play. Give me a guy on a cheap, cost-controlled contract that can just be locked up for four or five years, um, not cost us much, that can be in the building, learn all the systems, train behind Josh Allen, and and have that be your backup going forward. Um, this is something that I've, I honestly has kind of been something I've talked about like since I've started this show. Um, still remains something that I'd like to see the Bills do, um, especially when, when you're a team that's kind of spending up to the cap every year. Um, that, that couple million dollars that you spend on a backup quarterback that you really don't want to come into the game anyways um, is, is just something I'd like to see. And as far as like, you know, somebody in the room, you know, breaking down film with Allen and holding a clipboard and talking about what he's seeing on the field and all that. I, at this point in Josh Allen's career and the level of quarterback play that he has, you know, being like a top five quarterback in the league, and I'm being generous with the top five, he's top two in my opinion. Um, I don't. I just don't think that he needs like that veteran voice in the room. That's like, oh, see what you missed here, blah blah blah. He can sit down. He's going to see all that himself. Um, so give me somebody with some tools to back him up um, beyond this year, and I'd be pretty psyched with this room going forward. 